With rapid advancement of technology, mankind entails on the path to a future that relies more heavily on machinery than ever before. With handy computers within which is a web of ever-expanding information, vehicles that run on electricity, medical treatments relying majorly on equipment and household appliances that now are a part of every urban household, inventions around the humans of today. One such was the integration of semiconductors into electrical circuits. Now, what is a semiconductor? A substance that falls between a conductor, which is capable of conducting electricity, and an insulator, which inhibits the flow of current, meaning that semiconductors possess a unique property of controlling the flow of electrical currents. Elements that show such a property are silicon and germanium. They are used in microchips, integrated circuits, and microprocessors. Within the realm of semiconductor technology and its advancement lies the advent of all modern electronics. From your smartphone to your oven, from your car to your elevator, from your CCTV to your locker, it's everywhere. So, why is it important for India to invest in this domain? As global demand for semiconductor chips continues to grow, it is crucial for India to establish a strong foothold in this market. Largest manufacturers of semiconductors are Taiwan, South Korea, Japan, the US and China. We have to remember its history. The semiconductor industry was spun off by the US military. In the 60s and the 70s, when companies like Texas Instruments got stood up, they got stood up on the back of the US United States missile program. So the very genesis of this technology has been from the military and it has been developed slowly over years and reached a scale where it now powers everything that we use in our lives. But there's a fundamental difference uh, in what you know the consumer part of the technology is and what it is that we're talking about over here. Broadly, semiconductors are classified by the material that's used. So the revelation in the 60s and the 70s was that they were able to compress down multiple materials to a single substrate which was silicon and in doing that they made, they drove up the efficiency of what you could put on a single chip which is what made it incredibly powerful currently india relies heavily on imports for its semiconductor needs which presents a significant vulnerability in march 2023 the us india memorandum of understanding was announced as a semiconductor supply chain and innovation partnership by developing its own semiconductor manufacturing capabilities, India can boost its economy, create jobs, and enhance its technological sovereignty. Understanding their relevance today, their historical significance, and the strategic importance of manufacturing them domestically in India sets the stage for a deeper discussion. You can only design if you have a captive manufacturing facility. The the technology to develop those manufacturing facilities, because it has massive national security implications, became very guarded. So it became a chicken and an egg problem. You can't design, you can't build capability until you have access to a manufacturing facility. And in order to set up a manufacturing facility, you need to either develop the technology to manufacture in-house, which again, what do you do first? Where do you get started? or you're able to partner with somebody who gives you that technology to manufacture. Everything that we use in the military from night vision to, you know, the reconnaissance suites on fighter aircrafts to our communication links to the power electronics that we need. Everything is a compound material. Now, compound semiconductors over the last 20 years have grown in their uh, market share. Today, it represents about 20% of the total semiconductor market. But because it's primarily strategic systems, it lives kind of slightly under the radar as compared to uh, the larger silicon fabs, which are more talked about. 